So here we go. And so now, because this is getting to be a lot, I'm just going to summarize this all in one slide. So as you might guess, because there's a steric number of five, that gives us four specific geometries. Okay? And those come from five atoms and zero lone pairs, four atoms and one lone pair, three atoms and two lone pairs, two atoms and three lone pairs. So I will first start by just making a central atom and I will spread around five electron pairs. And so the first way I can do that is just making them go uh, pole to pole, right at 180 degrees, all right? And then now I've got three more to spread around. And because these things want to spread out as much as possible, this makes an equatorial region, right? That's 120 degrees. So one, two, three, all of those are 120 degrees. And if I rotate that up now, I've got two more that are 180 degrees. So this gives me my trigonal bipyramidal, bipyramidal shape. And the reason why it's called trigonal bipyramidal is because there's your trigonal shape right there. And bipyramidal, because on the top half of this, I can make a pyramid, right, by connecting all these lines. And on the bottom half of this, I can make a pyramid. So trigonal bipyramidal. So when I have all five of these being bonds, let's put atoms around here and hope my Play-Doh and toothpicks can handle five bonds here. All right, lovely. So when I've got, oh yeah, they're starting to droop. So when I've got um, five bonds to five atoms, we just call it also trigonal bipyramidal, okay? So now what if I make one of these a, a lone pair? Okay, so I'll take that away. Uh, let's see here. I'll take away um, one that would be easiest for me to describe. Yes, I'll take away this. So this is now called the seesaw because literally it looks like a seesaw, right? You could go back and forth tipping it. Okay, so that's this one right here. And what this means now is these angles are no longer 90. So actually the way that this naturally wants to droop like that, that's what would happen. These electron pairs would be repelling these things down. Okay. So now what happens if I take away another atom? All right. Well, I'm going to take away another atom. Um, I can really do it just about anywhere. And I end up with the same thing. T-shape, right? Because... It looks like a T. And remember, I still have these lone pairs. They haven't gone missing, right? I have to have those lone pairs there to still make this, this trigonal bipyramidal shape, all right? Um, and then now finally, if I take away one more, and you really, you would think, well, I could take away this one, or I could take away this one. This is the one that's gonna get taken away because once again, these atoms and electrons want to spread themselves out as much as possible. So now it just kind of looks like you have a linear molecule. However, you would still have these three lone pairs giving you that trigonal bipyramidal shape. Okay, my poor Play-Doh can't handle the five bonds.